Hi, my name is Max from the CWB Association, and today we're going to be doing a quick little video about the storage and containing of electrodes under W59, specifically low hydrogen rods in rod ovens. When we look at hydrogen, which is the smallest element known to man, it creates a lot of problems for welding. Because of its size and its ability to move within materials, it can create issues like hydrogen cracking. For this reason, many electrodes and consumables in the welding world are made to be low hydrogen or have resistance to hydrogen. Part of controlling that environment is the rod ovens and how we store our electrodes. Electrodes like 4918, flux cord wires, metal cord wires have to be kept in a controlled environment to really reduce the amount of hydrogen which is found in the air and water around us from getting into those consumables. When we're looking at controlling hydrogen, we have to remember that hydrogen is around us in the form of water. Water boils at 100 degrees. So as long as we can keep our consumables, electrodes above the boiling point, we know that we can keep the hydrogen out of them. That's very important so that we don't allow that hydrogen to get into the weldment. Once that hydrogen is in the weld, it is impossible to get out and can create problems for years to come. So here we have an example of a couple low hydrogen rods. These are the CSA 4918, or commonly known as the 7018 electrodes. Once they come out of the hermetically sealed box, they must go into an oven. They must be maintained at a hot temperature until used. Now, if they stay in the hermetically sealed box, that's okay for transport and moving them around, but as soon as you crack that seal, they must be put into a hot environment that reaches a minimum of 120 degrees Celsius. One of the easiest ways to check your rod ovens and make sure your rods are to the right temperature, which is 120 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit, is with a digital temperature checker. They're a low cost, easy to use tool that you can find at most hardware stores or order from your local supplier. As you can see here, we have a portable rod oven. This portable rod oven has all the information on the tag that you need to know. It plugs into 110 or 220 power supply. It keeps the temperature at a minimum 135 degrees Celsius to 75 Fahrenheit, which is well above the minimum requirements by CSA. Also, you want to make sure that as you use electrodes from here, you close it and keep it tightly wrapped. That way you know that the electrodes will always be dry and safe. In order to check your rod oven, you're going to want to plug it in for four to six hours and then check it with a temperature gun. As you pull out the electrodes, you'll want to make sure that the heat inside is matching the stated heat on the outside and know that it's working properly. Sometimes on the work site, things happen. Electrodes are left out, they get cold, they get wet, or you find a box that's been opened and not put away properly. What can you do? Well, under W59, you can recondition or rebake the electrodes. By rebaking them, you'll have to put them in an oven at above 230 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two hours. After that, they can go into a normal rod oven where they'll be kept at over 120 degrees Celsius. By doing that, you ensure that all hydrogen and moisture is removed from the electrodes. Just a quick note, if the electrodes are rebaked, you are only allowed to do this once. All right, here we have a standard rod oven. You can see on the front we have a temperature control, on the outside it's set to 140. On the inside we can see here on the plate it's got all the information required to show that it's the right kind and we're going to open it and do a quick test. I have my temperature gun here, you can see they're clearly labeled, great shop, 332, 1 8 532nd rods. I check and we are at 146, 145 and 150. As you can see, everything checks out great here. Temperature's a little high, could be turned down, but they're over the requirements of 120 degrees Celsius, which is W59 requirements. So, checks out for me. And please remember to check them often. Sometimes they get unplugged, sometimes things happen, sometimes knobs get bumped. So you do want to have it part of your standard safety protocols for your shop to check the rod oven, make sure the electrodes are in good shape, and make sure the temperatures are up to stuff for cold. Thank you for joining us today on our video about low hydrogen electrodes and their proper storage. Remember, it's important to follow the rules and the rules are there for a reason. Hydrogen induced cracking is a serious issue for all welding. 
Now going forward, we wanna make sure that we follow these clauses. And it is a little bit of work, but in the end, it creates a better and stronger industry for us all.